So, holiday packing ladies, we all would love to get everything into a tiny suitcase. I have this suitcase here, which is from Matalan, 20 pounds. But what are some of the things I do when I pack? Well, I always decant. This was a pound from Primark, and I put little sticky labels on it so I can put my shampoo, conditioner, everything else in there. Um, I quite like taking my own beach towel because you can't always get them and something you can also lie out on the sand. This is also from Primark, six pounds, rather pretty. You could even wrap it around your waist and you wouldn't become pregnant. Um, I think having a pair of silver or gold flat sandals then goes with everything and you're not suddenly breeding shoes. These were from New Look and they are eight pounds 99, flip flops Primark 90p. Um, a sarong, which this one is very soft, it's from two, it's eight to six pounds. You could wear it at your waist, you could wear it around your neck like that, and then take a little belt and make it a really pretty dress. You could also make it a scarf, so evenings when you want to just, you've got a bit of sunburn or you want to cover up, you could make it a scarf like that. So very, very versatile. I will definitely put in some fun jewellery. This is from Topshop, but it will make anything look um, more eveningish. So that's my little tricks of the trade. One or two, but let's now go on to the ladies. So, what do you wear to travel? Now, this is something different for you, Rebecca, isn't yeah, it? Very different. very different. But I kind of like to travel in things that I could wear again. Mm -hmm. So I really love this Zara dress, shirt dress because I wear it open. You're wearing it open mm -hmm. with an incredibly beautiful. Front. I mean, this is like too much to show on, on. <laughs> everyone would just be traveling with their passport going, oh my goodness, but beautiful little oasis, silky top, nice little necklace. Um, and this then can be done up and be a really great dress on holiday, which you can wear with a nice little heel and winch it in like that. Nice fabric, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's very soft cottony fabric. Um, Zara bag, you might recognize, I'm always, I use this all summer, but as Holly quite rightly pointed out, they're very good because the sand won't get it in it because it will go through. Inspired idea, I hadn't thought of that. Um, a little pair of skinny jeans. Sometimes I think jeans are too hot for holiday, but sometimes I think I wish I'd had a pair of jeans yeah. with me. Yeah. So these are great jeans and they are from Jeans Street Jeans. New look. Um, the shoes, Stradivarius, 29 pounds. Very comfortable, sort of running around sightseeing shoe, more than a flip flop. Yeah. You know, sometimes flip flops can get hard on the feet. These you can wear all day. And when you're traveling, it's quite good to take something that um, is very comfortable for those long airport gates. So that one works for us. So Sarah is now doing from beach to bar, that classic. So come on in, Sarah. Now, we've got here, I'm gonna say where it's from first, but for you, it's about having that lovely coloring of the sort of rose colors and the, the very soft greens which go with your eye color. So finding a swimsuit which flatters your eye colors and your, and your features is important. So this swimsuit, Peacock, 18 pounds, the kimono new look 24 pounds, bag ASOS 21. So what's key here is floppy, pretty easy, but we want to make it nighttime-ish. So you're gonna put the bag down, you're gonna do the earrings for me, and we did this on, on telly this morning and it sort of nearly went awry. But I think it's how you wear a kimono as an evening dress. So basically wrap it round, take a belt, preferably a little gold weave belt, and then go inside a kimono sleeve. So this happens best with a kimono, and you can either tie it at the back, which I'm gonna do now for ease, or you could tie it and bring it around the front. But what it does is it gives the dress, the kimono now, a beautiful look, drapey sleeve, and then at the back, turn around darling, it just hangs loose instead of sort of bulking up the fabric. Turn around again, so now you're ready to go out and party, and you've got the protection of the swimsuit underneath, pair of earrings and off you go. Thank you very much. Was it your first time this morning? Yes, it did was. Did you enjoy it? I did. It was Great. Amazing. Off you go. Thank Lovely. You. As Phil said, take your handbag. Yes. All right. And last up, last up, let me just remember what you're wearing, Sam. Come on in, Sam. We have delightful Sam, who's an old hand this morning. And I think having a matching top and bottom, which we've shown a lot on this morning, turns it into a jumpsuit. But a jumpsuit can be inflexible, although it's one outfit, which we love. This enables you to wear this really nice wrap top with a pair of jeans and to wear the trousers with a white t-shirt and little gold necklace. Top and bottom from Zara, a little wedge underneath for Sam's petite frame and they are from New Look, 19 pounds. And we're done. Thank you, darling. Have a lovely holiday. Thank you. Um, and thank you, ladies. And I hope that gave you a few tips and tricks. 
I will do more in a few days. I'm going to actually be doing my own packing and showing you exactly what I'm taking. Bye.